Hey guys, I'm Vignesh. Now I'm going to show you the review of the Resurrection Remix ROM on Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. There is a marshmallow version of the ROM. Let me go to settings and in the about phone you can see the Resurrection Remix marshmallow version 5.7.4. This is the latest version released by the developer and this is the official ROM for the device and it has no bugs it is fully stable now here you can see the base version and security patch level and it's the build date and let me explore the ROM first and here you can see the notification dryer and in the status bar you can see there is the breathing notifications we can turn it on for missed calls and uh, messages it's it's a cool feature then is the notification toggles and going to the battery this room has good battery backup I am using this room for the past 9 days and it has no bug and let me tell you about the installed apps. The pre installed apps are the add away and app backup and uh, add away, then browser, calculator, calendar, and uh, clock contacts. I have flashed the Pico Google Apps, so some apps are not pre installed. And this Dolby or Dolby and Xperia, Sony Xperia Music, there is a Walkman I have. And here's the gallery is a pre-installed app and kernel auditor is a pre-installed and screen recorder also pre-installed but I'm using AZ screen recorder to record this video and let me tell you first the camera is fully stable before this, uh, uh, this before this version of that is the 5.7.4 before 5.7.4 the marshmallow rooms have front camera bug that is you can't turn on the front cam it will force close but let me check the front cam this is the back camera and we can take photographs and here is the settings of back camera and here is the front camera And you can take photograph of front camera also. Here you can see the camera. Then coming to the back camera, there's many features like panorama and everything. Here you can toggle between the video recorder and camera and panorama mode. And that's all for the camera. The camera is fully stable, so the ROM becomes super stable. And here comes the dialer. It looks like a AOSP dialer. Here you can switch between sims. I have two sims. And here's the call logs and here's the contacts. And here's the messaging app that is pre-installed. And let me show you about the keyboard. This is the stock Android Marshmallow keyboard. And here is the browsing app. Here is the browser. It's also updated, I think. Updated to latest source. And here is the Adaway. I have applied Adaway already. And here is the calculator. Of the, for this room and here's the clock I like this clock very much because I need alarm and here's the kernel auditor I I haven't tested this kernel auditor because I am just scary and just a bit scary about this I don't know about the kernels overclocking and underclocking so I won't do it 
and here is the Omni switch it is pre-installed and if you enable it you can see it in the right this is the Omni switch you can close it and here you can see the recent apps and in this room you have the option of multi window if you click on this it will show as multi window but it takes some as here you can see I am using two applications in same screen same screen and next one is the okay next let me explore about the and the, this extreme music and wiper for Android X I have installed and it won't come with this room and here is the theme chooser I tried two themes and it works perfectly currently I don't have any themes I have uninstalled it I formatted the phone yesterday so I didn't have the themes installed and this is the RR statistics that is the resurrection living statistics this comes with this ROM and let me explain about the configurations of the resurrection remix that is what is it's famous for this is the configurations and here you can see the status bar customizations clock customizations and everything battery style battery percentage and here you can apply resurrection remix logo also and you can have 3G instead of H plus and here is the notification dryer force expanded then the notification will force expanded and here is the navigation bar settings and I, I don't need that because I don't like it okay let me enable it for your sake and here's the quick settings panel you can customize it also and here's the animations I like these animations configurations because I already enabled a different animation that is the list view animation wave right so going back here's the button controller and here also there are more configurations and here is the recent configuration here is the multitasking you need to enable this to use multi window feature in this marshmallow and the other things are here is the gestures and here you can enable it I'm going to turn it on and here's the security here you have the dis device administrators here is the storage and let me tell you about the RAM here is the RAM 1 GB RAM is used because you can see here the mini apps are running in the background I think 5 apps are running in the background I think so it's consuming more and in Marshmallow there is no access to SD card right the SD card is right protected so in my next video I will show you about how to get right access to SD card in marshmallow rooms that is in all AOSP and in all Samsung rooms and that's for the video I think and finally this is the Xperia Walkman you can download and flash this zip file I will provide you link in the description below and you need to flash it via TWRP or any other custom recovery and it's very cool for this room I don't like Google Play Music much so I'm using this and that's all for the review guys
do press like i don't need likes i just need views so please subscribe and please tell your friends and share it as much as possible this video won't cost uh, much attention for many many people thank you